Good Theater in Portland is now presenting the Tony Award-winning play, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. We talked with the artistic director as well as the lead actor who's just beginning his acting career with this ambitious role. Yeah, it was a, a big responsibility. It's the first, uh, sh first role I've taken since I graduated from NYU. And uh, uh, yeah, the stakes I think were pretty high. Do you know who killed him? No, no, I don't. But somebody must know because a person that killed Wellington knows that they killed Wellington unless they were a loony person and didn't know what they were doing or unless they had amnesia. The <laughs> story follows Christopher on his um, sort of his experience with life and sort of how he views the world. And, yeah. and it is kind of a whirlwind of a show. But you had mentioned before when we were talking that you actually did a lot of research going into this role. Yeah, I, uh, I did a lot of uh, reading, watching videos. Um, you know, the book doesn't specify, the play doesn't specify that he has autism, but I think uh, for an actor you kind of have to have that specific, uh, at least, yeah, that specific uh, trait to pursue in, in character work. And so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I did some pretty fruitful uh, talking with uh, the main Autism Society up in Winthrop. You're soaking! Yes. Let me get your coat off and I'll hang it up for you. How was school? It was good, thank you. Joseph Fleming took his trousers off and went to the toilet all over the floor of the changing room. Casting is obviously crucial to the success of any stage production. What was it about him that made you say, yep, that's the guy? Well, he sent me a picture and resume, and I saw his picture, and I thought, oh, he really has a nice essence for this. And then he came in and auditioned for us, and it was like, oh, he's, he's our guy. Mm -hmm. And then he and I worked all summer, uh, you know, just once a week, talking about the character, going over lines. So he, he was so prepared when, when he arrived at rehearsals back in September and uh, delivers no. probably one of the best performances on the good theater stage of all time. This uh, play has been a big hit on Broadway. It's been a big hit Huge. overseas. Uh, what is the basic story here, Brian? Uh, Christopher uh, discovers uh, a dead dog. He's accused of killing the dog, which he did not do, and he sets out to solve that mystery. And it leads to another mystery, which he also solves, and he ends up going on quite an adventure on his own, which involves leaving his home to go to London, which he's never done before. And it's a great, great journey and really sweet story. Christopher, you did your research, obviously, but how difficult is it to, to move into a role like that, especially as a young actor? Um, I don't know. It's, it's pretty hard. It takes, I'd say, a couple, maybe a half an say? hour before the show to sort of work Bloody out the physicality Nora. that I've decided Nora. works for this character. Um, she said, she but, um, you know, once too, you sort of get a rhythm like with the performances, the like lines sort of do a lot of the work for you. So. For yeah. people who have seen this massive show and the success it's become, what's different about the show that you've brought to Maine? Well, the lines in the story are all the same, but nothing about our physical production looks like the uh, Broadway production. And, I, you know, for me, I, I saw the Broadway production and I loved it, but I kind of felt that they didn't always trust the story, that it had so many bells and whistles in it. And ours is just really a simple telling of the story and the characters are great and the actors, we're using a cast of eight and they're all really terrific. and. Uh, the story is just so heartwarming, and people have loved it so far. So you're on stage the whole time, yes. for about two hours. <laughs> yeah. How do you keep your focus? Uh, it's hard not to keep your focus with the show. It just goes, you know, so fast-paced. So it would be it would be uh, weird if I if I wasn't focused. Yeah. <laughs> The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime is at Good Theatre in Portland through October 28th. For more information, visit our website and mobile apps.